crank your shoulders today? I got three exercises that you want to do. And all you need is a single band. But make sure that you have multiple levels of resistance so you can really challenge it because of these three exercises, they don't, always, they don't all three need the same level of resistance. Some of them need more. Let me show you. In this sequence, this is how I would do them. I would go ahead, go pull aparts. I've got a black band. I'm going to go ahead, wrap my hand around once, wrap my hand around twice. Now I've got it through my hand. I'm going to go ahead and do pull aparts. That's going to be my first shoulder exercise to make sure my scapula is activated and warmed up well. I like that one as my first shoulder exercise. From there, we're going to stand on the band and we're going to go ahead and make sure it's loose between our feet. We're going to come up and we're going overhead presses. Now, the beauty about using a band with an overhead press, notice how I can push my hands apart. What that allows me to do is clear my scapula so that my shoulder doesn't get impinged and my rotator cuff stays healthy. So if you've got shoulder issues and you want to overhead press, my suggestion, give that one a try. The last one, super easy. Just go ahead, put yourself here. Make sure when you start from here, you've got tension. If you don't, widen your feet out a little bit, let the band get loose. So now when you go high pole, you can come all the way up with tension. A beauty about this exercise, pull it apart at the top and you will get some great scapular setting, which is important when you do high pulls because the scapula has got to engage and be strong. Three of my best shoulder exercises using one band. Get after those shoulders, let me know what you think.